Greetings, this is Eduardo Jumbo. In this tutorial, JavaScript will be used to create variables using the const keyword. This is brought to you from the jumboshop.com learning JavaScript course. JavaScript makes it easy to declare variables. Use const to declare block scoped variables with the mandatory initialization. For jumboshop.com learning JavaScript course, web ID can be used for this tutorial and it also inspired this tutorial. As you know, JavaScript runs in a web browser that for client-side interactive or automated web applications. Server-side embedded platforms allow JavaScript applications to run outside a web browser. So this is the third and final part of this series about JavaScript variable declaration. We're going to use the const, which was been in use since MScript uh, 2015, that's ES6. Essentially what happens, uh, I explained this in the last tutorial, the difference between a global scope, block scope, and function scope. Basically what a scope is, is that when you declare a variable, you won't be able, where you, do, where you declare, where it's, de where it's declared, it's a scope. So for example, if it's in an if statement, you won't be able to use it outside if it if it has a block scope like in this case the const does similar to the let from last tutorial this one is also immutable what that means is that once it's set meaning that a value has been assigned to it you won't be able to change its type or it or the or the, or the variable itself and the temporal dead zone also applies here in that w unlike the var keyword when you use let or const, if you declare the variable below before you start using it, it will not work. You you need you it need be in sequence, meaning that you have to declare and initialize the variable first, then you'll be able to use it. So you can expand the code here to get the code snippet. This is the a screenshot of the tutorial just make sure you don't have any mistakes or anything and then this is this is the desired output if you're using the jumboshop.com learning javascript course so and this is the video for this tutorial and we can begin so what i'm going to do is i want to show you that you can copy and paste you see i'm using a mouse here just copy and paste that in there and you can also type in the IDE part. So I, I cannot do something like this because it will give an error. So what I need to do is I need to I need to assign a value to it. So it's declaration needs uh, uh, the value to also be uh, initialized. That's different from var and let. And because it's a block scope, it's not accessible outside a block. I'll explain that in a second. So now because it's, I, I signed it globally, the num1, I'm able to use it inside this block here. Now I'm going to create another variable. So I can only use it inside the block, which is the if statement. I'm going to show you what immutable means. So you notice here, before you say, hey, how come you're using uh, the, the variable num2 again? Well, I am because I'm outside the block. And immutable, as I explained before, means that you assign, you have to assign, uh, sorry, you can't change it after. You cannot change it. So if I try to say below this, if I say uh, num2 equals 3, that would not work. So if I compile this, you can see it's 1 for the first one here. 1 again, which is inside the if statement for num1. Then num2 here, to set to 2, that's it here. And here, this is inside a block. So here I'm outside a block. I can reuse, uh, not reuse, I can use the same variable as I used in eight, uh, line 8 here and assign a, a different value to it. 
and output it as well. So the article for this tutorial is available on jumbo.com slash javascript hyphen const hyphen variable hyphen declaration. And as I mentioned before, JavaScript is open source. It falls the MS script standard uh, version. No, so it's licensed under W3C software license, which allows commercial use modification distribution, allows making derivatives proprietary. Um, I be sure to subscribe for more content or more frequent content. If you have a request for a tutorial, any programming language, just let me know. I will take care of that for you. I'll take or take it under consideration. Um, if it's something to do with JavaScript or PHP or Python, because I've done I have courses for that, yeah, that will be easier because uh, I can show you how you can easily do that. Um, here we have the if you want to learn JavaScript online, uh, I do have a course on ajumboshop.com. You learn at your own pace 24 7. It's pretty easy. As you saw, I was able just to do some uh, code snippets there. All you need is a web browser. You don't need to install JavaScript. Uh, you don't need to install uh, an IDE or a compiler. That's all provided for you. Another method, uh, sorry, uh, b you can also get 20% off using the promo code school until the end of 2024. Uh, I also have just the ebook version. It doesn't come with an IDE or uh, JavaScript itself, the programming language. You, you'll be responsible to provide your own IDE compiler and all that and JavaScript itself. So the ebook itself, it's available on Amazon.com. Just search for Eduardo Jumbo. The links are also in the description. And I also, uh, also for this article under references, you can see here there's a learning JavaScript course on jumboshop.com. The link is here. Learning JavaScript ebook on Amazon, the link is here. And if you own, I also have a Jumbo services that come where I can provide custom one on one tutorials. Uh, tutorials could be for any programming language, or if you want help uh, creating applications, it could be web, mobile, desktop. Or even websites. If maybe you want to integrate something, you want to see how the website works. E everything could be from domains, DNS, uh, shipping, integrating uh, payment processors, logistics, chats. Whether you want to make your own or you want to just integrate uh, an SDK, I can explain that as well. So that's the end of the tutorial. Thank you.